This model of a Caterpillar CT660 dump truck comes in a standard Norscott packaging. The box is factory sealed with little tabs that you can peel off, as long as you've got nails that is. If you've just got big fat fingers and thumbs, then you're out of luck. Once you've got the end of the box open, then you can reach inside and pull out all of the innards. And it's competition time, because as with all Norscott models, how many ties will be used to tie the model down to the base? Place your bets, will it be 2, 3, 4 or 6? Okay, you've placed your bets, now count yourself a winner if you correctly said 2. And if you're a loser, your punishment is to remove the ties on your next Norscott model using just one finger. Anyway, I need to speed things up to get this model out, so we'll have a quick go at uh, removing it in my expert style. Once the model's free, it's complete out of the box, there's no assembly to do. Underneath the detail is reasonable, not all of the transmission is visible, but the gearbox and engine is. And the tyres have a different tread pattern on different axles. The wheels are plastic, but they are brightly chromed and so they look smart. The mirrors have indicators on the lights and the chrome work at the front is plastic, but it looks good, as does the Big Cat logo on the radiator. The good looking steps and fuel tank under the door are plastic, and it's good to see that the door handle is separately modelled. Behind the cab, the ram that raises the dump body is plastic and is about as fat as you'll ever see. And the detailing on the chassis is fairly simple. One nice detail is the easy slide cover with its soft material, but it's not functioning. The dump body is metal and it looks quite snazzy with its red paint job. At the rear, the tailgate has some casting detail. The cap mud flaps are flexible and lights are painted all by graphics. This is a Cranes Etc safety advisory. Accidents do unfortunately happen, but if you're the boss, stay cool, stay calm, and don't explode. <laughs> Motoring along down the Cranes Etc Super Highway, the CT660 rolls along well. The lift axle is set slightly high and it's not adjustable, so the wheels don't always roll when you push the truck along. However, the steering on the lift axle is very good, although the main steering doesn't achieve much of an angle because it fouls the bodywork. But if you set it all carefully, you can get quite realistic looking poses and the vehicle will trace a shallow curve. One feature that's been implemented very well is the tilting hood. It stays tilted to a realistic angle and the engine inside is good and well worth looking at. And there's plenty of interesting detail. Everybody likes a big tipper, so let's see how this one gets on at tipping. To start with, the cylinders are very, very stiff because of the plastic that's used. And it really does take a fair bit of effort to get the dump body up. At the back, the tailgate opens and closes as you'd expect, although it's really quite stiff and so it's not free swinging. Let's pull up the body a little bit more to get to the maximum angle of tipping, which perhaps isn't as much as you'd like to see, but it's pretty good. The tip around is a bit of a strange mechanism because the top of it isn't actually fixed to the dump body, it runs in a kind of a slot, which means the body's got quite a range of movement before the ram ever moves. So now let's give the CT660 a Cranes Etc a genuine imitation real life simulation. So here it is discharging a load of rocks and a combination of the stiff tailgate and large rock size means that a 5 ton finger poker is needed to get all of the rocks out. Overall this is a good looking dump truck from Norscott, certainly the cab part seems realistic to the real CT660 truck. And the different features of the model means that a range of interesting poses is possible. So if you want a decent American style dump truck, this one's recommended. Mm -hmm.